here we are looking at the limestone cycle. So on the gauze here, just in there, there is some limestone. It is being heated really heavily from below and from above and needs to be heated for about 10 minutes. You want it glowing red hot. If we just see just here, we can start to see the tips of some of them glowing already. You need to do this for about 10 minutes. So we've been heating calcium carbonate for quite a long time now. If we touch it, we will see that it's gone all crumbling. We just get this into the beaker. It's fizzing because it's hot. As much as we can in and then start to stir it. And hopefully what we will see is a cloudy solution. Just giving those a little bit of a crush up. Getting a few more in. And if this has worked, we are aiming for a nice cloudy solution. Now what we need to do is to filter this. So over here, I have a filter panel already set up. I'm just going to pour that through there. You need to be patient with this and just let it drip through for a bit. So after I've filtered the solution, I'm going to pour half into a tube that has a um, universal indicator, a half inch straw that has a, a straw in it rather. So if I just pour that in, I'll take you in if you watch the colour, we can see it has gone purple, telling us that it's an alkali. Um, so this one I'm just going to blow into. And hopefully you can see that has gone cloudy and that is the calcium carbonate being reformed there. You need to know that calcium carbonate has the formula CaCO3. Calcium oxide is CaO and calcium oxide is Ca and then in brackets OH2. So we started at the top with calcium hydroxide. We then heated that up. And as we heated it up, you probably didn't notice this, but we had some carbon dioxide being released. That then turned into calcium oxide. Calcium oxide was the white crumbly stuff, which we then added water to, and adding water turned it into calcium hydroxide. Adding the carbon dioxide back into it as well, so that's blowing through the straw. turned it cloudy and the cloudiness was teeny tiny little bits of calcium carbonate being reformed. So that's why it's the limestone cycle because we start off with calcium carbonate, we turn it into calcium oxide, we then turn the calcium oxide into calcium hydroxide and then by adding in carbon dioxide we can turn the calcium hydroxide back into calcium carbonate. So the equations we need for this are calcium carbonate, turns into and if you want you can put heat up the top there because that's something we do to it. Carbon dioxide plus calcium oxide. Calcium oxide plus water turns into calcium hydroxide and you may better know calcium hydroxide as lime water. Then the calcium hydroxide
we add carbon dioxide to that and it turns back into the calcium carbonate. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any new videos. Check out my website, bromoscreen.com, for any new videos, all the videos sorted by exam board, the blog, and any um, extra advice there is. Any comments, questions, topic requests, or um, corrections below.